Hi, my name is Joe Rubenstein. I'm one of the owner operators of Polite and Public. Polite and Public is a new kind of photo booth, born of the party generation and of new technology and stuff like that. Polite and Public started with myself and my business partner doing house parties at our house. My business partner is a longtime photographer and worked as an office manager for a big photographer, and I worked on low-budget movies for the first five years that I was out in LA. This experience up here is um, its a lot of fun, it's something out of the ordinary, not something you'd expect. We came together to have an idea of shooting like a little mini movie set where you would invite people to come in and take place in almost like a scene from a movie. It became really popular. It became uh, so popular that 500 people would show up to our house. Graffiti is very much in our heritage of polite and public, so we decided to do something that kind of looked like a 1960s living room that maybe somebody messed up a little bit. We now have this software that we call Polite Touch. It's a touchscreen basis for being able to control the brightness and darkness of an image. For instance, if I click on this image and I think it's too bright, I can darken it by hitting darkness. Neither one of us were ever formally trained in photography. I learned all of my lighting and, and image ideas from movies and web podcasts, actually. It's a lot more interactive, it's a lot more creative, so that was fun. Our images create a commercial look and feel. A lot of our styles pull from uh, 1960s and 70s films like the noir style films and the more art influenced films. For this event we're using real guitars, we've used real microphones. Having a prop relaxes them and makes it easier for them to get into it and have fun with it. And we always work with photographers who are very talented. They really made it a lot of fun making this photo shoot a lot of fun. Yeah, these are both styling. They're good. They're funny. I like them. And I think people love it because they get to be immersed in an extremely creative environment. And when they walk away with photos, it's something that they've never had before. I like to think of myself as an artist. Um, and, and in that, I'm very perfectionist with the way that the images look. Uh, at the same time, I have to be a technician and make sure everything is working properly. I'm always looking for something that surprises somebody a little bit that maybe they haven't seen before in a picture right away, that they're not used to seeing in pictures. For me, I think telling a story is the most important thing in a good picture, and that people can read into it uh, at least one, if not more, different stories that are going on in the picture. And I think that you know, lighting and composition and color and all of that contrast is all very important and helps grabs people's attention, but once they are, their attention has been grabbed, you have to be offering them something to, to talk about or think about.